it's Karina, your virtual health coach. And in this video, I want to show you a really simple homemade salad dressing. Now, most of the store-bought salad dressings are going to contain lots of processed oils, refined sugar. Some of them even contain partially hydrogenated oils in MSG. So if that's what it takes to get you to eat a salad, then that is fine. But when you're ready to take it up a notch and have an even healthier salad, I encourage you to make your own salad dressings. So now I just want to go over the ingredients that we're going to be using today. Uh, you will need a blender to make this dressing. So I have my Ninja here and I'm just gonna use this small cup. We don't actually need the full blender size. Now, of course, you could use regular salad greens, um, but I am going to be using kale. Now, kale is a cruciferous vegetable and it's one of those dark leafy greens that contains so many different nutrients and so many different vitamins that it's a wonderful thing to incorporate into our diet. Um, so again, your regular uh, salad mix like I have here is also fine, but I'm gonna show you my favorite trick uh, for eating a kale salad. So that will be one thing we talk about. All right, so then looking at some of these ingredients, the secret ingredient I feel to making a really tasty dressing, and especially for making something that can compete with the store-bought dressings that you're probably used to eating, or the restaurant dressings, um, is using a little bit of honey to sweeten it. So here I have some raw organic honey. This one is actually local, um, made right here in Austin. Uh, honey is a great sweetener because it also packs a lot of minerals um, and gives us those natural sugars that our body knows how to break down. So it's going to be a way better bet than just using regular sugar. Uh, then we move on to our seeds, and this is how we get the creamy effect. So here I have my sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. They've been soaking in a little bit of water uh, just so they can start getting nice and soft. It's really not necessary to do that. Um, but anyways, here they are uh, just regular. So you're probably used to seeing um, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds in their roasted state, but this is how they look raw. And this is how we're gonna actually get the most health benefits from eating these seeds. Uh, they give us a lot of protein and a lot of fiber, so it's a great thing to add in, uh, to just add in a little bit of protein to your salad. Then our main components of the dressing are gonna be this apple cider vinegar and olive oil. And honestly, when I am in a rush, sometimes these three ingredients alone uh, will be what go into my salad dressing. Apple cider vinegar is an incredible for the digestive tract and a great thing to have either in a glass of water before your meal, or in this case, I'm actually incorporating it into my meal by using it in the dressing. Um, and then of course we have this uh, organic cold pressed olive oil. This is really some of the top of the line olive oil that's out there. Um, and I just love Bragg. They make a lot of great products. Uh, so I have both the olive oil and the apple cider vinegar from Bragg's. Um, and now we're getting into things that I guess you could consider to be somewhat optional. Um, so, I mean, salt, I think, is probably something you're going to definitely want to have. I'm going to add turmeric and oregano. These are really wonderful herbs. Turmeric and oregano are also known to be very good herbs for supporting a healthy liver. So this is actually a little salad that's part of a liver cleanse that I'm doing right now. So actually all of these ingredients are great foods for supporting a healthy liver. So here's our herbs. I also have a little bit of garlic. Now, <laughs> the thing about garlic, uh, some people like a lot, some people like a little. So if you're used to eating restaurant food, you need to know that most of it contains garlic. So even if you feel like, oh, garlic, I don't wanna eat that, um, a little bit of garlic or even garlic powder if you don't wanna use the fresh clove is what is gonna help give your dressing that same taste and satisfaction that you get from a restaurant or store-bought salad dressing. Moving on from there, I'm also going to be using some lemon. Now, you could use lemon um, instead of apple cider vinegar or apple cider vinegar instead of lemon, but I like to use both of them. Uh, 
Then I also have an avocado, and I'm gonna be adding a carrot to this salad. This really is an optional ingredient, but I just love to add a little extra color, a little extra flavor, and I love the crunch that you get from putting a little bit of raw carrot in your salad. So I'm going to begin by getting out my blender here. And of course, if you're using a regular blender, you'll have a much larger thing. Uh, but I love that this Ninja has all these different sizes, so you can just make as much as you need. And then I'm gonna take these sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds that have been soaking in water. I'm gonna pour off just a little bit of the water. Most of the water. Um, because we'll be adding olive oil to the dressing to help give it that liquidy consistency. So and my hands are clean. I just washed them right before we started the video, so don't worry. Help get all my seeds out of there. Then I'm going to start adding just a little bit. Now, every person is gonna have a different uh, preference with these different ingredients. Some people like it a little more tangy, a little more vinegar. Some people really maybe don't like this flavor very much. So I would always recommend that you start small. You can always add more of different ingredients as you go to figure out you know, what is your personal, uh, personal preference. So I'm just putting in a little tiny bit. I would estimate that was maybe um, a tablespoon. Now for the olive oil, we're gonna need a little bit more. So I'm estimating this is about three tablespoons of olive oil. And this is gonna make a lot of dressing. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some extra dressing left over, which will be great. So then I wanna go ahead and add in some of my spices here. Um, I've been making these things for so long that I just kind of eyeball everything. Maybe um, I should have figured out my exact measurements. Probably about a teaspoon of turmeric. Approximately a teaspoon of sea salt. And probably like half a teaspoon of oregano. Not quite as much on that one. Now, of course, you could also add other spices. You could add pepper. You could add cayenne pepper if you want a little kick to it. Um, you can, you know, get creative with it. I just encourage people to uh, to get creative with these different things and add in the things that you like best. So I do want to pull out one garlic clove, and I'm actually just going to put in half of a garlic clove into this salad. Good idea to open your garlic over a trash can. <laughs> um, okay, and then so here I can show you kind of this cool trick with garlic. So Peeling garlic can be a little bit of a pain, but at this point that we've taken the clove out, if you use the side of your knife and then crush it, and then we're just gonna cut off this little end here, then it becomes really easy to peel. All that paper just comes right off, and there is our little clove of garlic. Now, like I said, I'm just gonna use probably half of this clove of garlic. That will still be plenty. Could probably even go down and just use this little tiny portion. Because I'm doing a liver cleanse right now and I'm really trying to supercharge my nutrients, I'm gonna go ahead and put in half of that garlic clove. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and start blending up my mixture um, before I add in the other ingredients. So, let me get this ready. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. <laughs> and we will blend. All right, it's pretty thick. 
can add in some lemon juice, maybe some more olive oil. All right, so your lemon, preferably organic. If you kind of squeeze it and even kind of like press it into the table a little bit, you can start to really pull a lot of those juices out. Let me take my tag off here. Now, you can squeeze your lemon into something else and then scoop the seeds out with a spoon or a fork. Or if you don't mind getting your hands a little dirty, you can use this little number. Just kind of catching the seeds in my hand there as I let the lemon juice flow through. Um, so I've just used about half of it. I'm gonna use the rest of my lemon on my kale here in a second. And throwing away my seeds. All right, so this is still looking pretty thick, so I'm gonna add in some more olive oil and a little bit more apple cider vinegar. And once I get this perfected, I will actually put the exact measurements um, in the description of the video so that you guys don't have to do as much guesswork. All right, and then our last thing to add is some avocado. Again, this is kind of an optional ingredient, but I love avocados. They're full of those good, healthy fats that we want to include in our diet as much as possible. When we include these good, healthy fats in our meals, it's gonna help the meal to satisfy our hunger even more. And it tastes great. And using a spoon to just start scooping this avocado out. I'm gonna leave a little bit of my avocado slices to put on top of the salad. So now let's blend this up again and see what happens. It may still be too thick. So now your dressing is just about ready. And at this point, it's just about figuring out the consistency that you want. I kind of like a thicker dressing and I'll show you that when I'm actually putting it all together. Um, but if you wanted to even add a little bit of water uh, to get more of a liquidy consistency, then you can certainly do that. Um, you might notice that I actually didn't include honey. Um, again, I'm doing this liver cleanse right now, so I'm actually going to um, forego the honey. But if you want this to be sweet, add in a spoon of honey. Um, and if you are making your own salad dressing at home, that is so, so wonderful. If it takes a spoon or two of honey to make it taste really good to you, then go for it because you're already doing something really good for yourself, eating a salad and making your own dressing at home. So now let's look at this kale. Now I've shown this in a previous video, but I love this so much, I'm gonna show it again. So uh, you can see, right, this looks like a really large amount of kale. Um, it's actually not even a whole head of kale that I have here. Um, I've already washed it and I've already started breaking it apart. I wanna show you this cool trick for eating a raw kale salad. Because if you just picked it up and started eating it like this, you probably find it's not very pleasant, at least until you start getting used to the flavor. So here we go, we have all this kale. So I want you to notice you know, how much kale this is. You know, It's almost this whole bowl full here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, and again, my hands are clean, right? I'll just wash my hands, make sure your hands are clean. We're gonna pour over a little bit of olive oil. We're going to sprinkle on some sea salt. And since I already have salt in the dressing and stuff, I'm not gonna use a huge amount here. And the rest of this lemon. Do, do. 
got real little seeds in there, so to hold them back a little bit. All righty. Now, if you have kids, maybe their kids would love to help you do this because it's fun and it's messy. We're going to massage the kale. So just like it sounds, you just get right in there and just start squeezing it all together, kind of squeezing that salt, oil, and lemon into the kale. Um, you can also use coconut oil instead of olive oil. And, you know, just kind of consider that, you know, as you kind of squeeze and squish the kale, uh, it's making it easier to digest, right? We're actually starting to break down the cell wall a little bit, um, and it makes it not only taste better, um, but it also is going to make it a little easier to digest. Um, eating lemon with cruciferous vegetables also helps improve uh, your body's ability to digest and absorb the nutrients. All right, so here we go. And what I want you to notice is that that huge bowl of kale is now about half the size that it was. So this is such a great trick, not only for making your kale taste better, but also making it a lot easier to eat a large amount of kale. You can also steam it if you want to, but eating your vegetables raw, you really, really, really are able to get a huge amount of nutrients. Okay, and like I said, man, could that be any more fun? <sighs> Playing with your food. So I, a lot of times, will just eat the salad right at this point and just eat, eat it like it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and now add on some of that dressing. And then I have my other regular spring mix here as well that we can show. Okay, so here I have my dressing. It's so wonderful and creamy and delicious. So I'm just gonna grab my spoon here and put a couple spoonfuls on this kale salad. And I probably would, you know, um, liquefy it a little bit more if I was gonna pour it over this other salad. Um, but for this case, this is like perfect consistency here for this kale salad. Oh my gosh. And voila. There you have it, your creamy vegan dressing. Um, sometimes I see uh, like green goddess dressing. So maybe this is like my version of a green goddess dressing. Uh, Cause it is definitely green <laughs> thanks to the avocado uh, and turmeric there. But this is such a wonderful, healthy thing to eat. Last couple squares of my avocado here. Cut them up a little bit smaller. All right, so there we go. A delicious, healthy, nutritious salad with your own homemade dressing. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can learn more about me and my health coaching practice at KarinaRachel.com. I hope you'll subscribe to Psyche Truth so you can join me for a lot more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.